Do you ever feel like your emotions are hijacking you? One moment you're calm, the next you're snapping at someone or overwhelmed with joy and can't focus. What if I told you it's not you, it's actually your brain? Let's talk about what's happening in the brain when we experience an emotion. It starts with a trigger. Maybe somebody cuts you off in traffic or you get a sweet message from someone you love, and this moment gets picked up by your thalamus, that's in your brain, and that's the relay station. It sends a signal straight to your amygdala, which is in the center of your brain, and your brain's emotional smoke alarm starts to go off. So the amygdala reacts fast, and it's senses a threat in the case of anger or it senses reward in the case of joy. Your brain goes into action, firing off electrical signals and releasing neurochemicals. And then your body joins the party, so your hypothalamus flips the switch for anger, your heart starts to race, your muscles tense, you get a hot surge. For joy, your chest lifts, you smile without trying, you feel open, energized and then the prefrontal cortex steps in, that's this part of the brain, and it says, you know, hey, I'm your CEO. Do I yell or breathe? Do I text that person back or not? This is where emotional regulation happens or doesn't happen. So it is the breaks on our emotions, and when we're stressed or overtired, this part goes offline, and that's why we lose it, so to speak. So then the memory gets stored in the hippocampus, which encodes this information of this experience. So next time something similar happens, your brain responds faster. And that's why managing emotions isn't just about the here and now, it's about rewiring patterns. So how do we stay in control? First, we pause, we breathe. It slows down that stress response and it brings your prefrontal cortex back online. And then next, we train our brains. We use things like mindfulness, brain training with neurofeedback, journaling. They help you change the patterns by strengthening your regulation circuits. Another real important thing is sleep and eating well. Seriously, a tired or undernourished brain is quicker to overreact. 